Good morning, welcome to Connect. Today we're going to be talking about King David and his songs, which we find in the Bible in Psalms, which is pretty much in the middle of the Bible. So if you opened up the Bible, you would see that Psalms are right in the middle. And they're really actually like a song book, songs that David had written. Now you probably remember David from when he was younger and he was a shepherd and the scripture we tend to do is about David when he kills Goliath with his stone. So you probably remember that story. But today we're talking about David when he's a little bit older. Now, we're go I'm going to teach you some sign languages as we go along through the story. Now, the scripture we're talking about today is Psalm 139. And the opening part of it says, God knows everything about me. So the sign language that we're going to start with is God. You take your hand and you put it up at your forehead and you go straight down to your chest. That is God. God knows, and you hold it up to your head like you're kind of reading your mind. God knows me. That's easy. So it is God knows me. And that's what the opening part of Psalm 139 is. Okay, so in the second part of Psalm 139, it talks about God seeing us. So everybody stand up. Now sit down. Okay, stand back up again. Point to the ceiling. Touch the floor. And sit back down. Okay, so I certainly couldn't see you through the camera, but you could see those in your house doing it. And I'm assuming you were all standing up and sitting down at the same time. Do you think that God saw you doing that? Well, of course he did. And that's what it tells us in Psalm 139. So we started with God knows me. Now let's add in God sees me. God sees everything you do. How many of you slept last night? I hope a lot of you are raising your hand and you took some sleep. You had some sleep last night. So if you slept last night, do you think God saw you sleeping? Yes, because remember, God sees me. God sees everything that you are doing. God sees the good and the not so good that we do during the day, because let's face it, we don't all make good decisions every day, but God sees all that we do. God sees me. Okay, so now I want you to think in your head, your favorite animal. Don't say it out loud to anybody at home, just think it in your head. Okay, has so everybody thought of one? Okay, on the count of three, I want you to yell it out. One, two, three. Giraffe. Now, do you think God knew that before you even said it? Yes, because guess what? God hears me, can hear me as I speak out loud. He can hear what I'm thinking in my head. So we know that God knows me, God sees me, and God hears me. Okay, so this morning I also have a picture here. What is it a picture of? That's right, it's a picture of a circle. Now, how could we make a circle? We can make a circle like this. We can make a circle with our arms bigger. Maybe if there's somebody else at home with you right now while you're watching it, the two of you together could lay down on the ground and you could each be a half of the circle and make a circle. So there's lots of ways that we could make a circle, but does that really make us a circle? Of course not. We're still exactly like the way God created us. Now, if there is someone in your home and you look at them and look over, do you look like them? Not exactly, there might be some similarities, but we all are created very different and specifically just to be us. 
because God, now this is a new one, made me. God made you just the way you were supposed to be. With the perfect nose, those color eyes, that color hair, the color of your skin, the way your eyebrows go, God made you just the way you were supposed to be. Okay, so what have we learned from David's psalm today? His song that he created while he was out in the fields watching his sheep and singing and talking to God. We learned that God knows me. God sees me, God hears me, and God knows, now this is a little different one, everything, let's do that again, everything about me. That's amazing. God knows everything about me. Even your best friend or your mom or your dad or your brother or sister, you don't know everything about them. But God knows everything about you. I don't know about you, but that makes me feel great to know that God knows me inside and out. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for bringing my friends together today to learn how special each and every one of them are and that they are created especially the way you decided they should be in their unique wonderful beautiful awesome way thanks for that god amen so in our craft today all you need is a piece of paper any color and some scissors now we're going to fold it in half once and then we're going to fold it in half again so that we have a square. We're going to make a snowflake. I'm sure you've made snowflakes a lot over the years. But what makes it special to our scripture today and our story is that we're talking about how God made each of us different and unique. You're only going to cut along the edge where you fold it, remember? That's what makes it neat. So you cut it any shape you want. Who knows, do they think, do you think snowflakes, there is any that are the same? When I looked it up, they said, scientifically, it's not possible for any snowflake to be the same as any other snowflake. And do you know why? Because as it comes down through the atmosphere, snowflakes are mostly made of water and they change as they go and they would not change in any way specifically so that's why every snowflake is different so see i cut some triangles some rectangles some circles and as you guys create your snowflakes at home none of them will be exactly the same as any that i have done or anyone else has done at their house because we're all doing it just a little bit different, aren't we? And if you remember from our lesson, God knows everything about us and knows how unique and different and beautiful we are. And that's the way each of our snowflakes will be as we turn them out. So then when you're done cutting out, you open them up and you see what you've created. Now, if you'd like to send me a picture of the snowflake you created, I would love to see that. So email that to me, and I'd like to share that with others. So show me your unique, beautiful snowflake. Thanks for coming out to do the craft with me. Have a great day.